In this tutorial, we will be learning how to install Revit. Now, if you have bought the DVD or CD package of Revit, you may will get an auto load or auto run. But here, I have downloaded Autodesk Revit. So, I am into the installation folder. And this is the setup.exe which will install Revit in my computer. I'll double click on that. It will ask for the user account control. Verify the publisher as Autodesk and click yes. It may take some time and load as well because it is a heavy suite of software. Here you'll find several options like create deployment, install tools and utilities. I'll recommend you to check installation help from here and your system requirements from here. I have already gone through them so I'll just install that. Here is the license. I'll recommend you to read the entire license if you want to but I'll just click I accept and next. I want to try this product for 30 days. If you have bought it you can put your serial keys here. The product language as English and the license type as stand alone. Click on next. So then it will determine the installation requirement for the software. It may take some time, depends upon your computer's disk capacity and memory. After the loading is done, this window will come up. It says Autodesk Revit 2013. You can install Autodesk Design Review if you want to. And Autodesk Material Library, which is an image library and I have checked these. Now this is the installation path and I'll let it be as default. Remember this disk space it requires is 5 GB so make sure you have at least 5 GB free on your disk and then click install. Again it will take some time so I'll pause the video here and come back to you after the installation is done. Yours may take time depending upon your memory. So have patience and let it install all the components it requires. After a while the Autodesk Revit setup will be done. Then you have to click on finish and we are done with our installation of Revit 2013 in our computer. Thank you.